Hello, I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this opportunity to bring his truth to you. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Burdens are being lifted right now. Yokes are being destroyed. Because Holy Spirit, you are guiding us into every truth. That will work perfectly in your plan for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Now we, we are dealing with God's financial system. I'm teaching you how heaven operates financially. Now I've been talking to you for the past two days on how to deposit money in your heavenly account. You see, how do you do that? By giving. When you bring your tithe, when you bring your offerings, when you give to the poor, when you give for God's work, you are bringing your accounts. You are actually transferring your money from earth's, the earthly account to the heavenly account. And I told you yesterday, the surest way to know that you have deposited your money in your heavenly account is when you hear the voice of God concerning your giving. I will never forget many, many years ago, and let me tell you the truth, that was the day I signed off ever in my life from being broke. Many years ago. How did it happen? The Lord was teaching me something, and then he taught me about offerings. And then the Lord, oh, I will never forget that day. The Lord said to me, he said, son, because I have gone before the Lord and said, Lord, I don't understand. This financial thing doesn't seem to be working. I believe in you. I'm serving you. I'm preaching your word. Because I've was, i been a preacher for many years. I've been preaching your word and, and I've seen miracles. But how come I can't really, really trust you to meet my needs? And the first thing the Lord said to me, he said, is because you waste a lot of money. I said, how? You know, how is where you have money that you can say you're wasting it? And then you see, now he didn't teach me like I'm teaching you now. Now, but he was using my experience to explain to me and telling me how I should come out of the situation I was in there. So he said to me then, he said, the offerings you give when you go to church, what is it for? Is that what he's telling me I'm wasting? He said, it's offering. And then he said, see, you don't even give it with your heart because it means nothing to you. So I said, Lord, what do I do? He said, from henceforth, every Sunday you go to church and you are giving an offering. Name that offering, the seed, to meet your needs for that week. Now, I haven't heard this anywhere before. Nobody has taught me this before. I heard it from the Lord. Praise God. And then I thought about it. I said, whoa, I didn't know this before. Say, Lord, I get what you mean. From that moment, giving of offerings became new to me. I became passionate about it. I began to ask the Lord, Lord, you know, I'm going to church today and I'm bringing an offering. Lord, what do you think about my offering? It became serious. And bless God, God began to show up in mighty ways in my life. I'm telling you the truth. Being broke is, is something that is impossible with me. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. It is impossible with me. You know, when you say it sometimes, people think you're talking because you're a preacher. I'm, people who's been, who've been around, who has been around me understand what I'm saying. There are times you wake up with nothing. But before your first action of spending, money shows up. <laughs> I am as in be just you know just it's normal so we don't worry we don't we don't sit down and say how are we going to get this done now how are we going to get this done no 
You say, what do we need to do? That's what, when do we need to do it? Oh, we need to do it by 9 a.m. Okay, no problem. We'll do it by 9 a.m. And I'm telling you, sometimes it's even one minute to 9 a.m. And bam, money shows up. See? Why? Why? Because we are not operating an account here on earth. Our account is not here. You say, don't you, do, don't you have bank account with you know, several banks? Yes, we do. These are just collection points for our spending. It is not where we keep our treasures. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It is not where we keep our treasure. You can't see. You can't see. There is no government policy that can affect our treasure. There is no government policy that can affect our savings account. I'm telling you the truth. It is impossible. Nothing on earth, even if the whole earth is scattered today, our money is safe. <laughs> Why? Because it's not here. The policies of your nation don't affect our account. Don't you get? I wish, I wish the Holy Spirit would just open your head and, and push this truth inside it. Because you will see how easy life can be. A lot of God's children are struggling. And that ought not to be so. So the Lord taught me that says, from henceforth every service you go for. And this is the reason you should be giving an offering. So I learned that and I began to practice it. So I began to include the Lord in my giving. The voice of the Lord will come to me and say, so on Sunday when you're going for service, I want you to take this offering. Thank you, sir. And, and something, you know, I became conscious from that moment about my giving. I realized that every giving must have a purpose. Not just giving, because the Lord told me you're like a farmer who's just going to his farm and casting seed. And you're asking, what are you farming this year? And we're just farming crop. Well, that's not a real farmer. A real farmer knows that, hey, you know what? I'm going to plant maize this year. And, and between this month and this month, I'm going to harvest my maize. So that's what a, a deliberate farmer would do. So I learned that from the Lord and my giving took a new dimension. And from there on, he taught me about tithing. And I realized that, come to think of it, before any money leaves my hand, the word of God must come for it. Now, either the Lord will command me, son, I want you to give so and so this. Say, yes, sir, I will. Or I'll take it before the Lord and say, Lord, I, I saw so and so person in need. And, and I'm thinking of doing something about it. Lord, what do you think? I have this amount of money. Do you think it would help? What am I doing? I'm making sure that that's my giving is actually a transference of money from here to there. Hey, are you getting it now? So I go before the Lord and say, Lord, I, I really want to help this person. This person is really in need from what I can see. And sometimes I've been there several. I see someone in need and I want to help. And then I hear the Lord command me, give this amount. And I say, Lord, I don't have that amount. He says, you have my money with you. Oh, oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. And he's talking about the tithes. Because we have an account where we keep our tithes. So when we receive, we bless the Lord. And if he doesn't tell us anything immediately to do with it, we put it in that account. And as we go on in life, he gives us his word. Say, hey, this is what I want you to do with my money. Thank you, sir. And then we do it. The moment his word comes, you know that the money has been transferred to your heavenly account. Have, have confidence that you have money in your heavenly account. Then the question then is, how do I begin to withdraw from that account? Can I withdraw from that account? Completely, yes. Yes. How do I withdraw from that account? Oh, wow. I'm sure you want to know. <laughs> Praise God. And it's, 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 it's so simple. It's so simple. When you come to know these things, you realize that, hey, 
Why? You know, that's the same question I keep asking myself every day. Why do God's children suffer? I'll tell you why they suffer. In the book of Psalms, it says they know not. They don't understand. They walk on in darkness. And it says all the foundation of the earth is out of course. Why? Because a lot of people misappropriate their giving. So God doesn't receive it. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're supposed to give to Mr. A, because you don't pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is saying, you go and give it to Mr. B. And then at the end of the day, Mr. A, whose need God actually made that provision in your hands for, gets nothing. And Mr. B, who doesn't need anything, gets it. So what happens? Mr. A goes hungry, blaming God and wondering if God truly exists. Mr. B has more than what he needs and he goes crazy with it. You see? So when the Bible says all the foundation of the earth is out of course, that's what he's talking about. Because there's so much darkness everywhere. That's what's happening in the body of Christ. If we will concentrate on giving right by the Spirit of God, giving of our tithes, giving of our offerings, if we will just concentrate on giving it right, and what do I mean giving it right? Giving it by the Spirit of God. Guess what? No child of God will be broke on the earth. None. Because you see, as you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I have an offering I want to bring to you. Or, Lord, thank you, you have blessed me. And I have, have got this tight I'm bringing, bringing to you. And then you hear the Lord says, yes, thank you, son. Give that tight to so-so and so person. And said, okay, sir. Thank you, Lord. And then you call up the person and say, hey. The Lord asked me to send you money. Wow. The Lord asked you to send me. Yes. Now, I've, I've seen that. And that's the beauty of giving like this. When you tell someone, hey, I was praying and God said I should send you some money. Send me your account number. And I'm like, you know, some, some people cannot get it. I don't get it. You, pastor, you were praying. And God said you should send me money. I say, yes. For real. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. You know, some people get shocked by it as in, please just tell me you wanted to send me money. You know? But that's the truth. The Lord cares about you so much. Praise God. You know, you know, someone was sharing with me. He he is so used to doing it. And his siblings know, you know. And they ah, God said I send so so person. You know, and one of the siblings began to ask, him, come on, when will he reach my door? <laughs> he said, What do you mean? When will, he, when will God tell you to give me money? <laughs> Praise God. You know, because you see, it's not about receiving money. It's about coming to that place of consciousness that God cares for me. <laughs> so when someone says to you, the Lord asked me to give you this money. That is exactly what we are expressing. We are saying to you, God cares for you. Praise God. Yeah. Now, like I said, it becomes a measure by which you are measuring to give out how by giving listening to the voice of the holy spirit it becomes a measure now what does that mean when you give like that you will begin to receive with the same measure how people are going to do things for you because god commanded them to do it Sometimes they may know this is a God, this is God that is speaking those for those who know God. And sometimes they will not know it is God. They will just say, something was just telling me. You know, have you heard people talk like that? Even you, you've talked like that before. Something was just telling me in my mind. Or my mind just told me that I should do business with you. Someone walks up to you and say, Hey, how? Let's do this business together. Oh, really? 
who told you about me? No, no, no. My mind just told me when I saw you or when I saw your profile that you're the one I should do. It's not the person's mind. It is the voice of the Lord that came to that person. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, I'll begin to share with you on how to receive. God bless you. It's exciting. Don't miss it. Bye-bye.